Hi everyone, good morning, happy Valentine's Day <laughs> to you and yours. Um, I know that many of you have, many of you black people have boyfriends and girlfriends and marriage partners, so I wish you guys the best. I'm coming to you to uh, speak a scripture over your lives. Uh, I'm going to look at, what is it, Hebrews 13, 1 and 4. Keep on loving one another as brothers and sisters. Marriage should be honored by all, and marriage bed kept pure, for God will judge the adulterer and all the sexually immoral. That was Hebrews 13, 1 and 4. So, continue to keep the marriage bed pure and holy. It's okay to touch, but don't do anything that's perverse or not good before your marriage or or during your marriage that's perverse. We all know what's perverse, so you can have a discerning spirit about that. But uh, just learn to love your partner, be with one partner, be with one partner, and stay with that partner. Um, I want to say happy Valentine's Day to my boyfriend, Tom. Happy Valentine's, honey. <laughs> Love you. Uh, I'll be seeing you in a minute. But anyway, I want to say happy Valentine's Day to all of you. And God bless your marriage and your relationship with your your same sex or your opposite partner. Um, God bless you. And may God keep your marriage and your, and your lives together forever. And may you just enjoy walking down the great street of gold together and being in heaven together. With your partner in Jesus' name. Heaven on earth. Heaven on earth with your partner. And with the people that you love and serve. And that you enjoy and that you know about. And that know about you. That, that you love. And that it's with you even soon. So God bless you. And may God keep you. I want to say a prayer before I go for your relationship. For my relationship. And for those that are looking to find someone. That's proper for them and suitable for them like the Bible says. The Bible says you will have a, a helpmate. You will have someone that's suitable for you. So we're going to pray and we're going to fast and we're going to pray for our partners today in Jesus' name. So let's pray. Heavenly Father God, we come to you God in Jesus' name that the marriage bed will be kept holy and pure. That you get rid of all those that are sexually and moral and adulterers, oh God, get rid of them, oh God, let them leave this world, oh God, let them be uprooted out of this earth, oh God. Oh, we thank you, oh God, that sexual immorality really isn't being with just one partner, but being with thousands of partners. And sexual immorality can mean a lot of things, oh God, but it's being with more than one partner, oh God, and doing things, oh God, that you have no business doing. In the bedroom and outside of the bedroom. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, O oh God, that we will learn, learn to love our brothers and our sisters. And we will love them and have love in this world in, in you and forever in you, O oh God. We well, thank you for the peace of God, for helping our partners to love us, for helping us to love them. That we will just be able to exchange love and, and listening ears and and blessings and grace to them and love them even today, even in our tears. But we thank you, O oh God, for blessing us and helping us in every way. O oh God, as we turn to you, Lord God, as marriage partners, as relationship partners, and as we love you, O oh God. We well, thank you for the many blessings of the Lord and all that you do for us and for blessing our relationship with the members of the same sex and of the opposite sex. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. And may God keep your marriage and your bed pure. And may you not be an adulterer or sexually immoral. And may God keep you to love your brothers and your sisters even now and forever. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. And may you have a happy and a safe Valentine's Day. In Jesus' name. Love you, Tom. Love you. Bye.